I went through some serious seasonal depression living here. Kissy, can yeah. I have a sweaty kiss? I love you. I should have thought about everything. I, I like being outside a lot more than I thought I did. I am putting my foot in my mouth and I'm not here for that. Like I, uh, I messed up. I have a huge regret about moving. It's just not my vibe, I don't think. I like being outside a lot more than I thought I did. I didn't realize how much time I was spending outside in Santa Barbara. I can't describe it, I just, I'm like really depressed, genuinely. Do you wanna know how many times I've cried being here? Like I just miss so much about where I was living before and, but this is like a cute little lake town right outside of Charlotte and I just don't think it's for me. It's just really cool. It's quiet, but it's like super family. There's not a lot around here. There's not even a Trader Joe's. I know, how am I supposed to survive, right? Not even a Trader Joe's. And I just, I just can't seem to fall in love with this place. So we're in downtown Mooresville right now. I thought it would be really interesting if I show you guys like my hometown and just like how cute and quaint this place really truly is. I mean, I still really appreciate this place. It's where I grew up and it's super cute and like, it's really great for families, but other than that, I don't have much more to say about it. It's just my hometown and I'm, that's all I got. All right. And the most interesting thing about it is I actually grew up here and I thought maybe I could just move back and just be all hunky dory about life and stuff. And I was absolutely wrong. The rent was a lot cheaper here. The living, a cost of living was a lot cheaper. We were just living in Santa Barbara at a time when like things just went crazy in prices. Well, guess what? Come to find out that was like everywhere. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna be doing in the next like few months. I don't know if we'll actually stay here or not. I am notorious for putting my foot in my mouth, like notorious for putting my foot in my mouth. Um, so here I am guys, I am putting my foot in my mouth. Never one that's too big to stand up and say, hey, I made a mistake. I'm never, I'm never gonna be like in denial that I made this decision. And I have no problem standing up, putting in the work for that and moving past it. And I think that's what I would love to tell anybody out there is if you're going through this, don't don't feel stupid. Don't feel like, you know, you, may, you did dumb things or whatever. You're just trying to find your place in this world and there's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with trying to figure out exactly where you wanna be. I encourage people to go out there and explore. I encourage people to go out there and see the world is so beautiful and there's so many beautiful places to live. So don't feel like you're stuck. As I guess that's what I'm trying to say is don't, don't feel like you're stuck because nothing's permanent in this world. We moved to San Francisco, California, you know, six months before the pandemic went down and you know, we didn't get to really explore California at its full potential. And I just feel like since everything seems to be opening up and life is happening again, like it makes me really sad. Like I feel like I just gave up on myself. And But there's just some things that I'm just not in line with here. Um, there's just like not a lot of good restaurants. Charlotte is like 35 minutes away. It's a 35 minute drive without traffic. And I'm not here for that. I love being around things. I love being around things to do. I also miss the beach a lot. I didn't realize how much we were going to the beach in Santa Barbara. Like I miss taking my dog out there. I miss like having picnics on the beach. I miss just like watching the sunsets on the beach. Um, I never want to really do anything here and it's just starting to get really, really hard. So I just thought maybe if I, if I did something like just say it out loud, like I, uh, I messed up. I have a huge regret about moving. Also too, cannabis isn't even legal here. I know, why would I move from a legal state to a non-legal state when cannabis is such a huge part of my life? I am a huge advocate, especially for women in cannabis. And I just left that. 
why sometimes I just want to smack myself I don't know why to me I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stay here or not I don't think that this is quite in line with what I want to do in life and I've got some serious conversation to be had with Jamie and that's okay. I'm okay with making mistakes and I'm okay with fixing them. And that's something that I wanna tell you guys out there. Like, hey, if you feel like you've made a mistake, like a big one, like you moved to the wrong place or you chose the wrong home or something like that. Oh, look, oh my dog's gotta come in here as I'm in the middle of pouring my heart out. Um, but yes, if you have made this mistake, you are not alone. I have I did a poll on my social media too. And come to find out there are a lot of people who made mistakes about moving somewhere. So I wanted to put this out here because maybe I thought if I just said some things out loud that A, it would make me feel better, but B, it could also help other people out. I know past seven months, hey, if I'm not liking a place by seven months, odds are I'm probably not gonna like it. And so um, I just wanna get this off my chest. I just wanna be free. I just want to be like, I messed up. I messed up. Oh, Dharma. Dharma doesn't like it here either. She can't go. Oh, Dharma doesn't like it here either. She can't even go hiking. I got her hike shoes and she doesn't even get to use her hike shoes. It really sucks. Um, it's really nice because our families are both here. My family's actually here in Mooresville and Jamie's family's in Lexington, South Carolina, just a little bit down the road. And so that's been really nice to have that. And some of my friends are here and it's been a lot of fun having dinners and um, going out with them and stuff. But, and I'm a super artistic person. I love to be like around new things. I love to be around unique things. And I just like to explore and I just kind of feel like I have just given up on everything. I, and so I'm ready just to, I'm ready to move on from this mistake and I'm ready to move forward, I should say. So with that being said, I just kind of wanted to come on here and vent a little. Hopefully I can help people out there going through the same thing I'm going through. Um, so until then, I'm just gonna keep, you know, vlogging things and I'm gonna keep everyone updated on what Jamie and I decide to do. Thanks for giving me a portal to just vent out. I Please don't judge me. Amy's cooking us dinner tonight. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I love Do you regret anything about this? I don't think so. Do you want to stay here? No, I didn't say that either. Between not like regretting, enjoying the time, getting to relax a little bit from life. You literally today said you hated here. Like literally just like 30 minutes ago. I was just mad. It was a lot of traffic. I, I was hot. Would you would you move? Where? Anywhere. Away from here? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, at some point we have to. But we just don't have lives here. The, our fields aren't here. The industries we want to work or work in aren't here. You know, our goals like aren't here. You just gotta accept that at the end of the day. It's like nothing wrong with the place. Love it. It's just not for us. So we basically cook dinner together every single night. He cooks way better, so oh, thanks, babe. you're welcome. So yeah, this is like a typical night for us here in Boresville. We have fun habits. We do have fun habits. We make the best of things. Sure do, that's really sweet. Oh, continue to do your thing. No, it's not like I hate, like I wanna like it here, Jamie. Like I do. I just can't get on board with it. Like, it's a good food scene. Those are good old days. Or like a good fresh market. That'd be great. Anyways, my table is cute. I like how it's like up high. Anyways, that's where we eat dinner every night. Like every night. I don't know why else I'm so crazy. I started packing. So I'm so crazy because I've already started packing. I have no idea where we're going really or what we're doing quite yet. We don't have a solid plan. That's how ready I am to go. Like I'm just, I'm like not having it at this point. I don't know what that means. If anybody's ever done that either, if they started packing before they've made decisions, please let me know. Okay, so this is what Jamie made us. How cute is that? It's not really cute, it's delicious. Oh. The 
this is still oh my God. I'm just glad I've been very transparent and open about regretting my decision to move. Jamie's over here having some type of like food orgasm. Not I'm awesome. not sure. So I'm gonna enjoy my food. And we're gonna continue, to, this story is to be continued. Thank you. The story is to be continued.